Let's jump into steps of a speech. Seven steps to a powerful speech. Number one, what do you think number one is? Get attention. Get attention. That's right. It's a waste of time to speak when people aren't listening. Think about it. You're in a sales scenario. And you're trying to speak, but they're, pay, they're, they're like watching the TV. What do you do? I don't keep speaking. <laughs> Miss Betty, I'm struggling to pay attention. Can we turn the TV off for a few minutes? Okay, I'm having trouble focusing. Can you help me out? You could do that for me, can't you? Right? Sure? Good. Like, I'm, I'm not going to speak if I don't have the, everybody's attention. Like, I'll see a lot of conferences, and, and, I'm, and, and I'm, I'm learning. So when I use other speakers as examples today, it's not because I'm better than they are. Trust me, okay? I'm, I'm learning, but I'm watching and learning from what's happening. I get to see a lot of speakers speak up, or, or there'll be a stage here. They'll walk from the side of the stage. They won't say anything. They'll get right behind the podium. They won't say anything. They'll look around the room. Everybody's just talking, hanging out. They haven't got anybody's attention yet. And they're like, okay, my name is Henry, you know? And I'm like, dude, I think everybody knows your name by now, you know? Or the biggest mistake that most speakers make is they get up in front of the room, they walk in front of the room, like, okay, how's everybody doing today? Very common, by the way. What that means is they didn't think of what they were going to say when they walked up, and then they just said it because they're like, crap. Uh, you, you folk, we'll, we'll watch that. You will see average amateur speakers do that a lot. That's the go-to line. How are you doing today? How's everybody doing today, right? It, it, and, and, and it doesn't kick the speech off in a very impactful way, does it? Number one, get attention. Normally... If I'm, in a, if I'm in a room like this or I want to start getting people's attention or I'm like in a hallway and I'm trying to get a message out to everybody, still speaking, right? I'm like, two claps, two claps, two claps. And I'll just keep doing it and everybody will join in and then literally no one will be talking. It's amazing. But that's the way of getting attention. Number two, you need to open with confidence. You need to open with confidence. Or a, big, or a big claim, by the way, or a big claim. So what I'll typically do when I kick off an event, um, and I, I change it up. A lot of times now I've spoke so much, I, I don't even know what I'm going to say. I'm just running up and it'll come out. No idea, right? I know that's weird, but I have no clue what I'm going to say most of the time when I'm running up. I'm trying to think about, okay, say this. I'm in the bathroom, I'm like, okay, say this and say this. And then I start running up and I'm like, I forgot everything I was going to do, but I'll figure it out, right? And so a lot of times I'll be running up, and, and I will like try to, I'll try to get like people standing or their hands raised or like get them engaged in some way. So I'll be running up and I'll get everybody excited and, and I'll open and I'll be like, how unbelievable has this event been so far? Like, who's loving this? You're like, oh my gosh, this is life changing. It's incredible. And I, what I can tell you is it's about to get even better. I'm going to give you five steps to go from six to seven figures today. Who wouldn't mind going to seven figures today? Am I right? And what I can tell you is those that pay the most attention, that listen the hardest and apply everything that I say today, you will see the results. But if you don't, you may not. Who's okay with seeing massive, insane, incredible results today, by the way? Okay. So that's typically, you've probably seen it. Now you've seen it again. So you're like, oh yeah, that, make, that rings a bell. <laughs> Made that up. However, like that's how I'm typically going to open something to really get everybody. I've got everybody's attention. Now what do I do with it? So I open with confidence, extreme confidence, not arrogance. But like, hey, I have your attention. Here's why I, I have it. Here's what you're going to learn. And here's what you're going to get out of it. So I'm typically opening with confidence and a big claim and trying to continue keeping the attention in some way. The confidence thing is huge. Number three, tell a story. You want to you relieve some nerves? Open. After you open with some confidence, tell a story. I promise you, your nerves will lift if you transition to a story, by the way. It's incredible. Your nerves will be gone. Because you'll be telling something you've told a lot, a bazillion times. That's why you see the best speakers... Start with a story, end with a story. Every single time. Every single time. 
I've seen hundreds of keynotes now, maybe thousands because I'm watching them on YouTube literally every weekend or every day typically. I was literally prepping for this. I was watching Cardone do a keynote in uh, Singapore. It was like a 20 minute video on YouTube and I'm like watching it and I'm watching him and I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm taking notes. I'm prepping for today. I'm like, okay, what is he doing? How's he doing it? He's freaking nuts. That's what he's really doing, but he's all over the place. However, he's keeping people's attention. The best speakers open with a story, end with a story. So the, number three is to tell a story. You have stories that people can resonate with. It may be a story of overcoming, right? It may be these, a story that is embarrassing and you don't really want to share it. Share it anyway, right? Share it anyway. Number four. Steps or an outline with stories sprinkled in. So this is where I'll go into like my outline. Like I typically have like three steps or five steps or something like that. Like you, 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 like you see all my keynotes and I've got like literally um, on a note card, like start to scale, there's five steps on this one, um, five steps on this one on the right. This one was going to from six to seven figures, five steps. Like that's kind of like a pastor thing almost, yeah. you know? I've always got three to five to six steps for everything. Typically it's almost five, always. I don't know why, I just like my number, I guess. But it's almost always five. And that's where the meat of the content is, right in the middle of the speech. And I'm going through several steps, but I'm trying to sprinkle stories in. It will help you and make it easier if you can have five steps or somewhere around there and have a story for every step as well. Because everybody's, everybody can get up and tell a story, right? Or people that like telling jokes, they'll tell jokes. To get them in front of a room will terrify them. But if I was like, hey, what's your top story of your childhood and share it? Number five, five. yes. <laughs> you need to have a, you don't have to, but if you're wanting to get something out of what you're talking about, like an actual, some leads or some sales or push them to something or have someone do something, even subscribe to your channel, whatever. That would be time for a CTA or a call to action. So for example, I may be talking and I may finish up my fifth point, you know, you got to build a team and my whole sales team walked out and I was terrified. I didn't know what I was going to do, but then I soon realized this is the time, this is my chance to build it right and to do it right the first time. Right? And you may be listening and thinking right now, man, I want to build a team. I want to build a massive organization. I want to help people. Well, I can tell you that I coach a lot of individuals making two to $600,000 a year. And I specifically have helped them blow up their brand, blow up their team, recruit and hire a lot of people, plug the right people into their organization. So if you're thinking right now, man, you know what? It's time for me to think bigger. It's time for me to dream bigger. It's time for me to to start to really scale and do something big, then I can tell you our team is at the booth in the back and you should walk back there as soon as I'm done. Because I can tell you that if you're thinking you wanna do something big and I'm thinking I wanna do something big, then heck, why don't we do something big together? Because professional athletes have coaches and mentors, people to help them, right? Bill Gates says everybody need someone to help them. And deep down, you know, too, that you need somebody to help you. True or true? Like, you know, you need someone to help you. So if you're thinking that, let's at least have a discussion, right? So that's how I will formulate my CTA into my steps towards the end. Okay. Six is, so five was CTA, call to action. Six, tell a story. Start with a story, end with a story. But I like the CTA before I pivot to a story because the story emotionally ties them and pulls them to what you're wanting to do. And use a story that relates to your call to action, by the way. Use a story that, both stories should ultimately relate to your call to action. So that's why um, we had a lot of people that took action and did some stuff with us. Um, we did a pretty good amount in revenue at the SWAT breakouts to where the point where like, Nate and some other people were coming up to us like, what did you, what did you do? You know, well, um, 
we did it because like the whole weekend was planned towards what I was going to do in the breakouts. Like every time I was up, um, oh, you also, also what, what did you notice too? At SWAT, I'm sitting in the front row. How often did the people in the front row or me specifically get brought up, right? Often, like how much does that, and it's not about me, like how much does that help what I'm trying to do when that stuff kind of stuff happens? Yeah. So six was tell a story. Seven is a reminder of the CTA, right? So that's what I just did. I just gave another reminder of, hey, who's enjoyed what I've shared today so far? Like you've loved this. It's been really good. Okay. Based on that. And now you guys are sitting there like, okay, is he asking us to participate or is he telling us, or are we part of the speech here? I'm confused because I felt it. I felt it. I'm like, I don't know. If you want to raise your hand, you can. So... So, <laughs> reminder of the CTA would be, okay, if, if you've, like, who's loved what you, so let's participate as if I'm speaking to a real audience, right? Who's enjoyed, really enjoyed what you've heard so far? And you're like, you know what? I believe, I truly believe that it's time for me to do something big. Who else is like, you know what? It's time for me to do something big. I'm really thinking about it, okay? Also, you got to be patient with people, right? You got to kind of pull them along. Don't just say something, nobody raise your hand and just move on, right? Like, it's accept responsibility, right? And you're sitting there and you're like, man, it's time for me to scale. So by show of hands, who really wants to scale, add a bunch of people and really grow something big. Okay, so based on that, I know that when we work together, everything in your life will change because for everything to change, you gotta change. Who believes that by the way? For everything to change, you gotta change. Okay, so as soon as I get done, I will be standing at the table in the back. I wanna meet you. I wanna shake your hand, I wanna get a picture and I wanna spend some time with you talking how we can blow up your brand and your company and i'm guessing because you raised your hand that you do as well who wouldn't mind if you doubled your company in the next 12 months right i wouldn't either by the way okay so based on that as soon as i'm done i want to meet you at the back table sound fair enough can you do that for me yeah. okay you guys have been amazing okay <laughs> you guys have been amazing thank you for being here Give yourselves a hand for an unbelievable job of being focused and engaged. You're incredible. Thank you. So that's the seven steps to a speech. You like that? Very good. Good? Very powerful speech. Good. good. That's right. Powerful speech. That's it. To build a powerful speech. Yeah. And it's it's the, the biggest, the most important piece of that is the confidence in what you're talking about. Okay? Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. You've, you've done quite a bit on TikTok. Uh, you get a, quite a few leads from TikTok. I do, the last- I think this can become a little TikTok <laughs> clip, by the way, from this video. In fact, my right most now. recent TikTok lead was just the other day and the lady asked me to marry her. <laughs>